welcome to Pure to Tara Talk Time. I'm Tara, and today I'll be doing a video about my Tilted Cervix update. Now, a few, maybe about a month ago, um, I filmed and posted a video called I Have a Tilted Cervix, because um, I was really surprised, and I was pretty sure that was the reason and that for all my issues at that point. Um, and I, I should have called it Tilted Uterus. It really is a tilted uterus, because your cervix isn't tilted, it's really your uterus. Now my mother has a tilted uterus, I'm going to call it a tilted uterus from now on. Um, so it's quite plausible that I have one as well. Uh, so, oh, I just fixed the lady before I started filling the nail, it's all bright again. Oh, whatever. Um, so when I felt my cervix was tilted, I'm like, oh, I probably have a tilted uterus. And I don't really know if I go to, you know, my next doctor's visit, maybe she can schedule me with like a, a gynecologist or a GYN or something like that. Um, so we'll see. I'm not really interested in doing that, but I may. I may. Uh, so, basically the issues I had was I couldn't find my cervix. It wasn't up there. It turned out it was to the side, and it still is kind of to the side, but now if I check it, it it's more upright. So I don't know if it's my cervix is probably not tilted, because it is a tilted uterus. Um, I, I wouldn't be able to feel if my uterus was tilted, you know? Um... So, I want to talk about something. I have the Ruby Cup, which is a very nice quality cup. I would give it a great review. It's a very nice cup. But I have to do an update on it, which is just kind of be kind of included in this. Um, it's a really nice cup, but, you know, it doesn't work for me, unfortunately. As I've been trying it more, it's just like, I can't use this cup. You know, I, I, it's not for me. It doesn't fit my body. Um, it's a really nicely made cup. It's like the highest quality cup I have. Super nice silicone. Um reusable, I'm um, sorry, not reusable, of course it's reusable, um, durable. And the company's ethics are amazing. They give a cup to, you know, a girl in Kenya every time you buy a cup from them, so that's fabulous. Um, but, you know, because the way they formed it, it's very soft, but it's very poppy, you know, it's springy, and that doesn't work for me. It's also pretty big because it's a one-size cup. So whenever I wear this, um, this may be kind of weird, but I'll insert it. And for some reason, with this, it's very painful to do the pump down fold when I insert it. So I have to use a 7, which isn't a problem. I love the 7 fold. Um, so I insert it in, and I let it pop open. And it really hurts as it's popping open. I don't know what that pain is, but it's like it's popping open, so it's like pushing against me, and it's just not comfy at all. Um, and then, I if I let it go really quickly, it's not so painful, but there's still a little moment of out, you know? So... Yeah, and once I insert it, about three or four minutes after I get up, you know, from the toilet to, like, put it in, I'll walk around, and I've gone to the bathroom before, or whatever, I really feel like I have to go number two. Like, just, like, I kind of, that kind of feeling, like, I kind of have to go, but I, but I can't. I, I can't, I sit there, I'm like, okay, okay I can't go, so there's nothing in there, it just feels like pressure, and I'm like, uh -huh. So I wore it one day to my, like, band practice, and the entire time I felt I had to go to the bathroom. So I, you know, finally got home, and I went to the, I went to the bathroom, and there was nothing. I couldn't go to the bathroom. It was horrible. So I took it out, and then about, like, a half an hour later, I actually had to go to the bathroom, and I could go. But I, I feel like I have to go to the bathroom with this cup, and I can't. Now, this happens with some other cups, but it's mainly with this one. With some other cups, I just kind of feel like uh, a little pressure, but it's not like I can't go to the bathroom. It's just a little bit more difficult. I have to push a little harder, and, like, cup kind of comes out a little bit. And I'm like, you know. Um, but that's only with, like, a big, firm cup, you know. And this is basically, like, the only one that I have troubles with. It's only, like, sometimes um, other cups, but this is just, it doesn't work. Uh, so I just wanted to mention that because, actually... The diagrams that I've seen, I really need to do a little more research on this, so I can't really talk about it in a medical way, because I'm not medical, of course. Um, but the way I see it, the diagram is like your uterus is kind of pushing against um, your bowels. You know, it's kind of smushed back there, so there's already pressure on that. So I think if I put a big cup in there, there's added pressure. Uh, and this could have nothing to do with the tilted uterus, but it could just be that I have too big of a cup and it's just pressing against me. I've tried pushing it up, down, it doesn't work, I don't know what it is, but anyways, it's not comfy, so what I decided to do, um, well actually, there's another thing, because on my last period, um, we were in, 
we were traveling like planes, you know, and everything, my period, and it was, I didn't really want to use cloth pads, so I'm like, yeah, you know, the plain custom, you know, it's not, no, I don't really have to deal with that. So I just used cups the entire time, like the first night I got my period, we were at home, so I used like a liner, but then during the night I just used a cup because I realized I couldn't wash it, um, because we were leaving the next morning, like, you know, early, 5 o'clock in the morning, so I couldn't really clean that, you know, or anything like that, and this wouldn't work, so I just used a liner, and so the entire time I never took out a cup, I mean, I took out a cup to change it, but I put it in, I used my Bella in the plane, and then I switched into my, and that stem poetry, that wasn't comfy, um, I changed into my Maluna cup, because this is my small, soft Maluna cup, and it's really comfy, and I use it overnight, because it's so soft and squishy. And then the rest of the time I wore my organic cup during the day and then I would change into my Maluna cup at night. And my entire period was just weird in general. It was just like really heavy discharge and very watery. Like half a cup during the day and then only one day of like a whole cup of blood and that was like it. So it was weird. So whatever. But anyways, so you know, I notice when I have my period and I use cups, I don't go to the bathroom as much. You know, like, I go number one, that's fine, I go pee a lot, you know, because I just always go to the bathroom a lot. Like, when I have my period, I just go pee a lot. And I don't know, does that happen to you too? I don't know why. But anyways, but usually I go number two, about two times a day. With my menstrual cups, I can only manage about maybe once a day, but usually it's like every other day. And I just don't know if that's healthy, you know? And then I notice, like, maybe a day after I stop my period and I stop wearing menstrual cups, Oh, this happened to me. It was horrible. Like, I get really nauseous. I don't throw up. But, like, I homeschool, as you probably know. And I, if I'm doing school, I have to take, like, a half an hour off because I feel so sick. I just sit in a chair, and all I do is go in and out of the bathroom. And I'm telling you, it's major blowout. It's hard. This is really graphic and gross. But I, so, like, three or four times, and it's... It's not pretty. I don't like feeling nauseous or sick to my stomach for like a almost like an hour, but usually like the half an hour is like intense. Blech, and, this. Um, and then like the entire day, all I do is go to the bathroom, and no one wants to sit in the toilet all on the toilet like all day. No one wants to do that, you know. So I don't know if that's to do with um, the menstrual cups or if that was what I ate when I was on vacation because you know we couldn't eat at home and all the healthy food. So basically. What my plan is for this month is I have a lot of cloth pads that I need to test out. These are all the pads that I need to test out. I'm not going to use any cups except for my small soft Luna cup because it's the smallest, softest cup I have. And I may try the Natura cup. I just got that in the mail. I got to um, post the unboxing video because I just got that. I had to review this, um, test it out. Um, but it's pretty firm. But it's pretty small, so it, I'll just try it out. Um, and I... How all the menstrual cups that I have, I need to review on, but I've already tried them, so it's fine. The well, only time I'm going to use this is if we go swimming, and, like, if we're in, like, a long car ride or something like that when I have my period. But, um, I'm mainly going to use cloth pads just to see if the not using menstrual cups helps. Um, and I really hope that I find the solution to this, um, but I also hope that it isn't really the cloth pads. I mean, sorry, the, um, uh, menstrual cups, because I do love my menstrual cups. I may just be that I have to switch to softer cups or maybe smaller cups. I don't know. So I'm going to find, figure it out. But I just want to show you the pads that I have to try out. I'm going to call them Rump Rave pads. Because these are from Kara from the Swap. So just, I'm going to call them Rump Rave pads. I landed. This is the one I already tested out. There's a faint stain on it. I still need to stain treat it. But it's really thin. This is really, really comfortable. I wore this like all evening. And it's just cotton topped. And it was just like spotting before my period. And then this is a light pad she sent me. Really, um, pretty like purple print. I like that a lot. I haven't, I've always, I've tried these on just to try them on, you know, but like, I haven't actually worn these, so I can't review them, of course. And then I, this is like, I've worn this Essence of Eve pad, but I just want to give it more of a chance to try. This is like my travel pad I always bring with me, so I've worn it a few times, but I haven't like really needed it, you know. And then this is another Rump Rave pads. It's really narrow, it's really nice. I gotta test that out too. So I have quite a few I need to test out. This is one of my favorites she gave me. It's, um, I love this, like, fleece in the back. It's so pretty. Um, it's just, like, a moderate pad, and it snaps up really nice. I actually put second snaps on these just because 
um, I wanted to have an option for wider and narrow. She gave me really narrow snaps, which is really nice. But I actually bought on some uh, options for a wider snap, as you can see right here, so that I could wear them, you know, overnight sometimes, because I just got wider underwear. It's like, come on, underwear. You have to be wider. Anyways, this is like diaper cotton flannel. Super thin. Love this one. I actually can't wait to try this one out. So I have that one to try out. As you can see, I have tons of pads that I won't be bored. And this is actually, um, one of the pads. Brynn's has a few more me to try it. But this is one of her styles that she's designing for a possible business in the, like, probably in a year from now or something like that. But just, um, it's a really nice, um, like, flared, um, squared. I did a dry run, and I really like this. It's really nice. And then really love 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 this pad it's my giveaway pad from faith love daisy chains little a heart snap it's adorable and um it's super super comfy and i have to test that out um like this one a lot from Kara uh my brace this nice um pad from her i like that one a lot then this one is insanely comfortable like i've given it a dry run and like it's so comfortable. Like, it looks really, like, crazy. So comfy. And then, happy pad she gave me. Um, nice, very cool fabric. Um, and these are the wings. So, like, um, it's a little bunchy back here. I don't mind that. It's not uncomfortable for me. So. And then I have another essence of that I haven't even worn. Have to test that out. So, yeah. You know, I've always wanted to do just a plain old cloth period, but it's so hard, you know, to not switch to cups. But now I have the incentive, and, like, I really know that I, I shouldn't because it could be causing me a problem. So that's basically my update. Um, if you have any information about Toza Services or, like, big menstrual clubs that have had these similar problems, please contact me, comment down below, email us, message me, whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. I just, I'm trying to figure this out. Um, it may have nothing to do with cups, but, um, I know that the Ruby Cup doesn't work for me, but I just hope that it isn't the cups, but, um, so yeah, we'll see. So thanks for watching, please subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Bye!